everybody. Thank you for joining us today. I'm sure it'll take everybody a few minutes to get on. Um, we're going to be going live. I'm going to be doing four different looks with four different pharmacy um, foundations or two tenant moisturizers. We're going to be two tenant moisturizers. And we're going to do a few different looks. I'm going to give, hopefully give you something you can use every day all the way up until something that you can do really dressing. Um, I have four face models who have offered their time to uh, let me do their faces today and uh, we'll get started. If you have any questions, um, just go ahead and um, ask them in the comments and I have people that are going to help answer all those questions for you. Um, also, um, Mary, I'm so sorry. Oh, hi, Mary. Um, if you're not able to watch live and you're watching the replay, please leave a one in the comments so that we know who all is watching and when you were watching. And feel free to say hello, talk to us, and ask questions. All right, so first up, we have Macy Elizabeth. She is um, very active. She runs. Um, she's going to be a physical therapist assistant. Uh, she's going to start college in a few weeks. So hopefully the whole corona thing doesn't take it all out. So I'm going to do a really fun, quick, everyday look for her. Um, we're going to be using the... Be fit. Is that in camera? Be fit tinted moisturizer. This is the color O2 medium. Hold stuff to the left of her or to the side. To the side of her. There you go. Alright, this tinted moisturizer is nineteen ninety. This is what I use every single day as well. I'm a preschool teacher and I need something fast and easy that is ready to go in just a few minutes. That doesn't smudge off or wear off every day before I'm able to get home. This is light coverage. You can build it up if you want to to provide a little more coverage. This young, beautiful child doesn't need covering. <laughs> I'm just applying it to the back of my hand and then putting it on with a brush. You can also just apply this with your hands or with a sponge. I don't want to like to apply it with my hands because I don't want my hands to be dirty. I'm a little bit of a diva. Right, so this is just tinted moisturizer. It's also really good if you are like me and forget to moisturize. My pool's double duty. A little bit. Now this product you don't have to set with powder, but we are because I also have the Be Fit powder that we're going to set it with. But before we do that, this is a new product. I got it yesterday. It is the Be Fit Lip and Cheek Tint. It only comes in one color. It is $14.90. I used this for the first time yesterday, just kind of testing it out. I'm going to apply it directly to my beauty blender and then to my face. And the Beef Fit products are sweat proof, they are water resistant. I've seen videos of people who like put their makeup on and then splash water on their face and it just kind of rolls off. I'm not going to throw water on this today, though. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply that around. It gives just a really nice, like, blush look to the skin. And we're also going to go ahead and apply it to her lips as well. This stuff does stay, by the way. So good luck getting it off. <laughs> You're going to have this on forever. <laughs> Alright, um, now I'm going to go in with the Be Fit Color Correcting Powder. This is what it looks like right here. This is $19.90 and this stuff works wonders. I have used powders that cost hundreds of dollars that do not compare. <laughs> I 
Any questions so far? Am I doing anything wrong yet, Miriam? I know you're watching. <laughs> Miriam says your hands make it more oily, talking about the application of the foundation. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to take just a little bit of the three in one palette and kind of enhance her blush look just a little bit since we're her playing with makeup. She's not going to go for a run today. <laughs> it's Sunday. She's tired. <laughs> eye look. I'm going to take one of the mono eyeshadows. I believe these are 1090. Um, Alicia might correct me if I'm wrong. This is in the color Baby Cakes. It's number 12. I just got this yesterday and I'm wearing it. And it is really pretty. It's just a light pink oh, I like that. shimmer. Yeah, I like it too. It's not too much. You know, she's not going to look too overly dressed up. Just a little light something on her eyes. You have to draw going around and so. stuff. <laughs> I mean, you have to get dressed up. Alright, I have been told that I'm not going to curl her eyelashes today. She might freak out. <laughs> Um, but we are going to use the Be Fit Mascara. This is my favorite mascara that I've probably ever owned. It is waterproof, sweatproof. I put it on about 5.30 in the morning, and when I take a shower about 8 o'clock at night, I have to remove it. Like, it stays on all day long. I should even let me touch her eyes right now. For the BeFit Runners look is the BeFit Refresh and Fixing Spray. This stuff is awesome too. I always shake mine up before I spray them. Close your eyes. What's the cost? Uh, the cost of this one is $9.90. And it's a pretty big bottle. Um, it's 3.9 fluid ounces, which is pretty big for a setting spray. So it's totally worth it. Alright, so that is our BeFit look. Um, her whole face, except for a tiny bit of blush and her eyeshadow, is sweat proof and waterproof or water resistant. And she can go to the gym. She can run errands in South Alabama since it's 100 degrees. Yep. She can um, do whatever it is she needs to do. And she is good to go. Any questions? All right. All right. Any questions? Any questions on the V foot look? Ma'am, do you have questions? Okay. Yes. Right, any questions about Be Fit? Nope. Um, I don't see any questions. A couple of people have commented. Um, Miriam says she loves the liquid blush. Alicia says it lasts forever. <coughs> it does. I put it on the back of my hand yesterday, and it lasted about 10 hours on the back of my hand. It's pretty crazy. All right. We're ready to move on to the next face model. Everybody welcome the Ellen Yates to the stage. She's our next beautiful face model, and we are going to do a very subtle teenage appropriate look for her. Did you take the glasses off? Now she's blind, she can't see you. <laughs> she won't see you coming with the mascara. There you go. <laughs> she may not need mascara, Lord, unless your eyelashes are black. 
Alright, so for May Ellen, she has um, some oily skin and a little bit more acne prone skin. So the foundation I'm going to use for her today is the Stay Matte Mineral Enriched Foundation. This is pore minimizing, oil free, shine free, and it just kind of keeps everything locked in place. Um, this foundation is $12.90, I believe. Um, if I'm wrong, Alicia, let me know. I think it's $12.90. More towards the back. And this is shade 02. What is it? Stay matte foundation. It's 1290. Yeah, 1290. I like that skin. I like this one a lot. I don't have oily skin, but I still use this one because it's pretty full coverage and it doesn't like make my drier skin really, really dry either. So I'm applying with a brush, and I'll go back in with a beauty blender and smooth this out, but we're just going to get it on our face right now. And thankfully, most of my nieces are the same skin tone as me. We can all just use the same colors. <laughs> and if you're like me, you need something kind of fast and um, easy to do because I'm not going to get up an hour early and do my makeup every day for work. I'm going to do it five minutes before I run out the door. And that's what I love about pharmacy products is they have stuff that you can sit here and do for hours. And then they have stuff that you can do five, ten, fifteen minutes and then you're out the door. So that's one coat of that, and we're going to do another coat with the I also moisturized her face beforehand with the uh, Pure Rose face cream, just to give her a layer of moisturizer. And this foundation layers really well. You can um, make it full, as full coverage as you want. And it's not, I've used um, full coverage foundation before that the more layers you put on, the more pimples you end up with afterwards. This is not going to do that. That is something that also I love about pharmacy and what got me interested in it is the fact that they don't use harsh chemicals and stuff like that in their products. You're already beautiful, but look at you. I love how it blends so easily. Yeah, it just blends right out. Even when you were applying it with a brush, it wasn't pretty easy. Yeah. Isn't that matte? I'm going to take a little bit of the Pharmacy Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. She doesn't have very many imperfections on her face. We're going to pretend just to show you how we spot conceal here. We'll put some like right in the corner. Is the what? This is um, full coverage liquid concealer. I think um, I believe it's a 990, and it blends in really pretty too. And you can use it to conceal everything, or you can go in like I did and just do a couple of spot conceals. I also like to use this as eyeshadow primer. Her foundation and concealer with the Be Fit powder. Um, this is the only foundation powder that I have, probably the only one I'll ever use. This powder is also great. Like if you get um, a foundation that's a little 
not your tone exactly. It kind of blends in with it and does that color correcting thing where it just kind of makes everything flawless. I'm gonna sleep in. <laughs> and it's also gonna give that layer of sweat proof resistance. Any questions so far on the stay mat look? I don't see the sewer look that you just used. There it is. Stay mat. Okay. Yeah, the concealer is 990. Alright, I'm gonna take the peach bite palette. This is new for the summer. It just came out. Um, it's got your blush, highlighter, and contour in it. And we're actually going to use this 3-in-1 palette for her face and then it's for eyeshadow as well. Miriam would like to know if it feels heavy on your face. Stay matte? No, it does not. It's not, um, we use a lot of, um, we've used Flower um, Beauty before, Miriam, and it's lighter than the Flower Beauty um, foundation. So I'm going to take the peachy blush color and just highlight her cheeks with it. This is also um, a pharmacy brush. I don't believe that these are on the website anymore, but you can find somebody that has one in their stock for sale. I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite fluffy brushes. Miriam also wants to know how much the peach that that you're using. The Peach Bite 3 in 1 is $19.90. But they're pretty big pan sizes, and with pharmacy, you don't have to use a lot of products, so they last a pretty good, good bit. Alright, we'll go back. So we just did a light layer of that peach blush. It's not too pink, um, it just really gives you like a natural blush. And I like a lot of blush, I'm just gonna cover that. smaller brush and use the bronzer. I'm not really going to contour because she's a teenager and she doesn't need to contour. But just bronzer up a little. take a fan brush and run it across this highlighter right here. Now this is not like a bling highlighter that's just going to knock your socks off. It's just going to give like a natural glow. So you can, however, set it, um, spray it with the setting spray and it'll enhance the mm. intensity just a little bit more. What's the brush you're using right now? This is an Echo Tools fan brush. Um, you can get them at Walmart. They're about um, $6. It's a really good brush. Echo Tools makes great brushes. Um, all of their products are natural, so you don't have to worry about um, weird hair that you don't know where it's coming from. We have another question. Um, does Farmosi have a good contour stick? We have a contour stick. It's in that book. I, I don't have one. I've never used it. Um, it's, I think, a fairly new product. We have a contour and a highlighter stick in there. Um, it's on my list to get, but I don't have one currently. Um, if somebody in the comments uses one, can you help them out a little bit? All right, so I'm just taking the bronzer color from the Peach Bite palette, and with a big fluffy brush, I'm just going to put it all over her. Jordan, Sherry's watching from Texas and says hi. Hey Sherry, thank you for watching. Hi, that's, that's a long way. What kind of brush was it? Where is the brush? Highlighter. Yeah, we were looking for the highlighter and contour. 
first tip. All right, so now I'm just going to go in with the same brush with our blush shade and tap it into it. And I'm going to put it more on the outer Perhaps corner right here. Some and I'm going to I have that. Oh. switch brushes to a smaller brush head. Sherry said Aaron's watching too. Oh, hi, hey, Aaron. <laughs> hey, they have men's stuff too. They have some men's cologne that smells like. Aaron, I love that cologne. Yeah, um, it's, it's the called, gauch is really nice. Yeah, it's called Gaucho and it smells like, um, what is the. The, what's the guy with Star started. Trek? Chris Pine one. <laughs> yeah, we're just promoting all kinds of stuff here. Smell like Chris Pine. Because smell like Chris Pine. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate just that. The not Jocho like EDP for men. That was the only page that I saw that had brushes. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the highlighter shade on a smaller packing brush and I'm going to hold that. spray it with a little bit of the setting spray. I'm just going to pack that on just her lid to give her just a little bit of sparkle. You know, she's going to school, she's got to impress them boys. No boys, no boys at all. Impress them with how much better you are than they are. There you go. Look at the camera, close your eyes, that's your eye look. That's using the three-in-one palette, the bronzer, blush, and highlighter. Um, we use it on her face and then on her eyes as well. Not a bad deal for $19.90 if you can use it in several different ways, if you ask me. All right, what's next? All right, this is the Express Eye Pencil Eyeliner. These are $6.90 a piece. These are great eyeliners. Um, they go in the waterline, they go above the waterline. I think that's... Don't die. I'm just gonna put a little bit, this is white. And I just like to put it on the waterline because it really makes your eyes open. Don't open make, your eyes, really. Don't make your laugh, I'll poke her in the eye. Crossing your eyes, <laughs> watching it. <laughs> See how that just made a difference? Makes your eyes look a little bit different. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not going to put um, eyeliner on the top of her um, eyes just because she's just so beautiful and she doesn't need it. All right, are you afraid of the eyelash curl? Uh, okay, you want to do it yourself? <laughs> Alright, any questions about anything that we've gone over so far or comments or I don't see anything new on my end at the moment. Cool. Yep. Alright, on her I'm going to use the Zen mascara. This is um, one of our best selling mascaras. I'm actually going to spray her with some setting spray. I like to do 
in my settings for before I do my mascara. Mm -hmm. My mascara is not waterproof. Yeah, so um, that, that way it doesn't run whenever I spray my face down. All right, so the Zen mascara comes in black. It's a um, lash extension mascara. Mm -hmm. Y'all have this at your house? Yeah. yeah, on one end of the comb, it's long and spiky, and then on the back side, it's a little bit shorter. I like to use the shorter one on the top and the big one on the bottom. That may be opposite of what everybody else does, but you know me. I also like this mascara because it doesn't irritate your eyes, which most mascaras for me do. Yeah. How's that beak bit wearing on you? Hmm? How's your mascara doing? It's doing good. All right, so look at the camera. So she's got naturally dark eyelashes anyway. So this is with mascara and this is not with mascara. I don't know how much of a difference you can tell because she's got really good eyelashes. Now I'm going to go back on um, the top lashes with a second coat. What are y'all doing? <laughs> They're trying on glasses. <laughs> My camera people. Alright, so she got a little spot of mascara in her face. So, a beauty mark. I scraped it off and I'll take this color correcting magic stuff right here. And so what would you say is your favorite product you've gotten from pharmacy? My all-time favorite product product from pharmacy is the B-Fit mascara. Like I, if I'm not wearing any makeup at all, I'll put on the mascara and leave the house. Alright, I'm going to give her a little bit of brow. This might be the wrong color, but we're going to use it. This is the brow mascara. Um, I believe these are $11.90 maybe. But I like brow mascara because it's super easy. I'm like, look at them. Oh, I might need some of that. There you go. Like you don't have to sit there with a pencil and like go over and over and over it. You just brush it in. Alright, so now we're going to go in with our little brow mascara. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright, and on May Ellen. We're going to do um, the High Shine Lip Gloss. I'll have to have my people look up the price on these because I don't remember. Um, I have two different shades. I have shade... I have shade 02, which is this one, and 05, which is this one. Which one would you like me on? The pinker one? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put 05 on her. Um, can you look and see how much these are? Or if somebody in the comments knows, can you? Oh, God. Right. This is High Shine Lip Gloss in 05. The price is unknown. <laughs> we're getting there. I don't look at prices, I just buy stuff. Am I in the right section here? Sure. Now this is regular lip gloss. Eleven ninety. Eleven ninety for the high shine lip gloss. Mm -hmm. This is regular lip gloss, so it's not going to have. Um, a super, super long wear. Now it lasts. 
Um, it lasts a pretty long time, um, but as soon as you eat or drink or something, it's going to transfer off because it is lip gloss and not lip stick. All right, here we go. That is our second um, look with the Stay Matte Foundation um, and all of the, pharmacy, the other pharmacy products that I listed there. Um, using the Peach Bite Palette, which is one of my favorites, the Zen Mascara, which is a pretty popular favorite, and the High Shine Lip Gloss. Yeah, and you can put your glasses on so they can see it with your glasses as well. Oh, people are here. <laughs> <laughs> you, Very good. you can go look in the bathroom and see if you like Alicia says, so pretty. Uh, um, well, we need a paper towel, so I can just paper towel. They want to look at my face so <laughs> close. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do it before and after. <laughs> Alright, so my next face model is my sister, Julia. Everybody say hello. Um, hello. She is aspiring to be an interior designer. Mm -hmm. okay. She's a mom. I'm getting a mom okay. staging. <laughs> a grandma face. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. She's a mom of seven girls, and she had her first spring baby this year. And little Ruthie, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you see her. It's the baby that we have tons and tons of pictures of. I want to go back just a little bit closer. She's not going to go. <laughs> All right. Um, for my sister, we did moisturizer, the Pure Rose moisturizer, um, before we got started. And we're going to use Pharmacy CC Cream. And this stuff is pretty amazing. Um, this is what you usually use. Yeah. This is $16.90. <laughs> um, I have found that before you use it, give it a good shake. It just kind of makes everything mix back together. This is the color light to medium O2. So it's the CC cream? Yes. It is in it it is six ninety. Sixteen ninety. Thank you. <laughs> now, what are you Sorry. Doing? More moisturizer you need. Yes. And this stuff is pretty long wearing too. Um, and it's really like high coverage for a CC cream. And it doesn't oxidize weird. I, um, I tested some CC cream for Neutrogena um, last summer and I put it on my face and it turned orange. Yeah. But you know, it works for mom's skin. She just didn't like me. And this is kind of the same as the BeFit. You can use it with a sponge, a brush, or you can just put it on like moisturizer with your fingers. Now, if you're like, not wanting to put on any makeup at all, but you just want a little bit of color to like even out your skin tone and run out the door because you don't have to set this with powder. Um, this is pretty good stuff. And it layers pretty well. Not really anything bad to say about it. The people in the comments like the CC cream. Yes, we like the CC cream. <laughs> this was um, the first pharmacy product that I ever purchased. And I noticed whenever I started wearing this that my face broke out less, that um, my skin, I have a, my nose peels. I don't know why, like when I get really stressed out, the skin on my nose falls off. <laughs> it's just scary. <laughs> um, so, using, oh gosh. so since using this, that has not been happening since switching to pharmacy products with you know, none of the chemicals and gross stuff. Um, not happened. And I may have my data wrong, and if I am, Alicia can correct me or Katie. Is Katie there? I don't see Katie. Um, you. Never mind, she's here. Oh. Hey, Katie. Um, pharmacy doesn't use as many, I'm not even going to throw the numbers out there because I'll, I'll be wrong, but they don't use the cancer causing chemicals that um, America allows. And so all of their products are just so much better for your skin. 
It's like getting uh, skin treatment while you're wearing makeup. All right, so we're going back in with our liquid concealer. I'm going to conceal all the sleepless nights and seven children. Alicia says, y'all ban uh, 1800 cancer causing chemicals. Yeah. And if that doesn't make you think, well, if they ban 1800 cancer causing chemicals, what in the world is in the makeup that you buy from Ulta and the drugstore and all that stuff? That's scary. It's terrifying. Cream, but I'm going to go back in with my trusty Be Fit powder. And it's just going to walk all of that in. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it just, even like the difference between this side of the face and this side over here, or when you put this powder on it, it just kind of finishes it off and smooths it out. Alicia said the U.S. only bans 80 chemicals. That's not good. We can do better now. We can do better. All right. For her face, we're going to use the original 3-in-1 palette. It's got a little bit of a pinker blush, um, a more warm tone bronzer, and this highlighter um, is a little bit brighter than the one in the Peach Five palette. So I try to go in with a little light hand. The first time I got this palette, I was like, oh, it's flush. And I was like, dig, dig, dig. And I put it on my face and I looked like a clown. It's like, oh, oh, God. Pharmacy, you don't have to use a whole lot of product. Which makes it even better. I just commented back to look. Somebody had mentioned um, the previous book loss, and I commented uh, what it was. Um, now, the price, I didn't say the price of this three in one palette is $18.90. It's a dollar less than each five. So, if you need something a little bit warmer and a brighter tone blush, you can use, use this one. Um, I use them both. And when I'm doing my makeup, I usually mix them both. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go in with a smaller fan brush this time. I'm going to spray it with a little bit of our setting spray. I'm going to dig into this highlighter right here. Watching an old Batman episode. <laughs> I almost wore my Batman shirt today. Not even going on. Come down the nose. Keep it there. Now she's a glow in the dark. Makeup is a miracle worker. Alright. For eyes, we're going to use the bronzer part of the 3 in 1 palette. Just put this all under the lid.
going to use, this is a new product to me, I just got it yesterday. This is the Long Last Creamy Eyeshadow in Pink Glow. I believe it is $10.90. Yeah, this is what it looks like. It looks like a very soft. I'm just going to pack this on the lid. Now this stuff I also put on the back of my hand yesterday and it lasted about eight hours on the back of my hand and I washed dishes, I cleaned the bathroom, I ate dinner and it didn't come off the back of my hand. So. Did you say that was the long last creamy eyeshadow? Yes. It's $12.90. Oh, $12.90. We just pack that on her eyelid. And then I'm going to take the baby cakes that we used on my own and go right over the top of that. You don't have to set this cream eyeshadow. I just like to lay this layer so it just makes it even more. Give that a minute to settle. I'm gonna throw some brows on there. This is the same brown mascara. How much is it? Eleven ninety brown mascara. Brown mascara. No, just like it. Is it the what is it called? Brown mascara. Brown design eyebrow mascara. The one I see right here is the B Fitch brown. No, that's a bit So it's not. It's, it's going to be more close to that. Okay. Oh, here it is. Brow design, eleven ninety. Yep. And it lasts a really long time too because you don't have to use the whole. Like I dipped my brush one time and dipped it. This is the Express Eye Pencil. This is in the color O6. It's blue. Oh, sure. I'm going to go really close to the lash line. I'm very gently pulling down. I'm not like a dry. As long as you're still, of course. If you move, she's gonna hurt your eye. Yeah. Um, jerk. I'm gonna get you absolutely in here. <laughs> Watch out putting on the mascara. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna throw your eyelashes. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna put the B Fit mascara on her because mom life requires you to sweat sometimes. 
Sometimes you just need to put mascara on and forget about it. Right. Open your eyes wide and look up. This is so terrifying. <laughs> Maybe you said you act like Rachel from Friends when she gets the eye drops. <laughs> it's terrifying. I cannot. That's good, doing that. Um, Having somebody else do it? Or you... I can do it myself. I just cannot. I can't say for anybody to work anything towards my eye. Like at don't all. Look, I'm surprised she's letting her do it. I can't do eye drops yet. Well, like, don't look, look at it. it. I'm You're not so hard. Hard. Look away. You can see her head. Oh, I think she's going. Oh, <laughs> 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 you can go more. So this is like so dramatic. <laughs> All right, while her mascara is setting, we're going to do the lips. This is the um, lip liner 203. It matches the matte lip with lipsticks 201 through something, the nude ones. These are pretty um, easy to use lip liners. Sometimes pencil lip liner will rip your lips off while you're trying to come on. This is not that harsh. This is the Matte Liquid Lipstick in 203 All Natural. This is my favorite one. I also have 205, which is Brave, and 201, which is Skin. And this one has a little bit less of a pinky tone to it. Now, once these dry down, these don't move. And can eat, drink, I feel like wipe your mouth with that and a little bit's gonna come off, but it's still gonna leave some color there. I also wear this underneath my face mask at work and it's on it's face mask. Kiss proof. You could kiss somebody and your lipstick wouldn't come off. Now we call it kiss proof. So no kiss proof. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Alright, then I'm just going to spray her down. There we go. So this is your everyday mom look. Doesn't take that long whenever you're just doing it to yourself. It's not going to teach you. But you could also dress this up if you want to add some glitter to the eye, throw on extra mascara, and be ready to go out. Yeah, there you go. All right, any questions about that one? I don't know. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, we have an extra special guest. This is local author and legend, M. Wilson. Thank you for being here today. <laughs> she has come a long way to visit with us. She has a princess in her spare time when she's not writing books. She is, oh, yes. she is a student at Auburn University, more people. And uh, she's pretty much perfect, so we're going to get started. I've already moisturized her face with the Cato Duo cream, um, just to give her some moisture. Alright, so this is going to be your date night, glam, glitz. Probably not even her wedding day look because she's real simple and we'll go a lot less extravagant with this. This is like holiday party, walking down the street in the big city. I didn't know where you were going that. <laughs> All right, so I'm starting with the liquid concealer. She even got one of those beauty marks on her face. She's basically a beauty rock. Right. Start 
And that thing was in her face. Now Mara has um, kind of pale skin, um, a little bit like me, and I have found that sometimes if I put on my concealer on top of my foundation, it just slides off and doesn't really do anything. Um, so I started putting on my concealer under my foundation, and that works a little bit better. It's not gonna collect or bunch or slide around. did her um, engagement photo makeup. And if you'd like to see more of those, please let us know. We'll send them to you. She's also getting married next year, y'all. She has a ring. I think she did this. Book author. She works at the library. She saves puppies. I'm sure I do. Wait, she has a cat. So for Mara, we're going to be using the Pharmacy Luminous Serum Foundation. If you have drier skin, I would recommend this foundation. I have drier skin. This is what I use on a regular daily basis. It's really good. We used it for her engagement pictures, and we were out in the field, in the grass, and it stayed on. 90 degree weather. Yeah. <laughs> and um, lasted yeah. the whole rest of the day. Too. Yeah. It just, it, it stuck. Whether this is true. 2490. Somebody with a book double check that. If you could see behind the camera, they're all like sitting there looking on their phones, except for Macy. What are they looking for? Luminous Serum Foundation. Um, Alicia wants to know what lipstick you use on Julia. Julia, um, all natural. 203. Not everyday lucky. Alright, so this foundation has a dropper, so we're just going to drop, drop, drop. And one dropper pool pretty much does your whole face. This is probably my second favorite pharmacy product. Mm -hmm. Which one is that? BFX Pro? No. Um, Luminous Serum Foundation. It's towards the front. No. It's back to the front. Alright, so I'm going to take a brush and blend this in um, and start sticking. 2290? 2290. I'm going to take a brush and start stippling this in and then we will go back over it with a meat blender to smooth it out. And as you can tell, this foundation. That was a long day. But yeah, if you have drier skin and you're a little bit scared of the stay mat, which you shouldn't be, um, or you think the tinted moisturizers will be too much for your skin, um, this is a great um, option. Down your neck because nobody wants to see a line. No lines. I want to get some of the um, body bronzer. Does anybody in the comments have that? Have you tried it? Um, I kind of want to try it and, and see what it's like. The sun kissed something or another. I also want to try the new sunscreen. Pharmacy came out with sunscreen recently. I'm real excited about that because it's not going to have all that trash in it that American sunscreen has in it. So I want to get some of that too. And I also have a after sun vegetables as well. Where is pharmacy based at? Turkey. Oh. And all these products are cruelty free. Um, a lot of them are gluten free. Yeah, yeah well, gluten free. Uh, they're just really no parabens, no sulfates, no that stuff. 
They also came out recently with, um, Pharmacy does more than makeup. They do skincare, they have a baby line, they have cologne, um, and then they also came out with a cleaning product line recently. They have an all-purpose cleaner, a laundry detergent, um, a dishwashing detergent, yeah. Um, and it's all natural, made from the same great products. And um, I know Alicia got some in her box, and I'm pretty excited to see what she thinks about it so that I can give her some too. Alright, so this is the serum foundation. How flawless that is. Beautiful. Now, if you wanted to go an extra layer, you could and hide for a little like beauty mark and all that, but. Fit powder, which also probably helped on engagement picture day with the whole sweat stuff. I mean, when I said we were laying in a field, I was actually laying in the field like I had bugs in my shirt whenever I got home. Alicia's like, my God, this girl is on my Facebook page talking about bugs in her clothes. She knows you. Yeah, she knows I'm crazy. They were beautiful. <laughs> they were beautiful. And I got really good angles. <laughs> this is also a really good like touch-up powder. Um, I say, for instance, you've been crawling around in the cow field and you're feeling a little woolly. You well, can you take your brush. What? <laughs> you can take your brush and swirl around and kind of freshen up. That's really good. Back into the peach bite palette from Laura and go a little bit softer on the blush and contour. This is going to take that peach blush. And I like to pull my blush all the way from inner to outer and not really focus it so much right here. Um, just kind of gives a more natural flow instead of just having really, really blushy cheeks. You can also, um, let me do this real quick because Alicia and I were talking about it. You take a fan brush like this and dip it in your blush and go like this. It kind of gives that natural up motion. And Alicia, remember I was telling you that I use a fan blush, brush for my blush sometimes? And that's how I use it. So now she looks like she's been kissed by the sun. Which comes natural to her because she has a summer birthday. Mm -hmm. Do you have one that makes me look like a woman in the sun? <laughs> that's mm -hmm. the bronzer that we don't have here. <laughs> I'm going to take the smaller fan brush and spray it with the um, setting spray. That's the word anymore. And highlight. Alicia says she needs to come over so you can teach her about the fan brush. Tell her, come on. Yeah, the fan brush I use for highlight, I use for blush. I even use it for contour, like when I'm actually contouring, um, because I found like a bigger, wider powder brush, my powder contour kind of gets messy. So if I use a fan brush, it kind of controls it a little bit more. So yeah, I'm a big fan of the fan brushes. All right, I'm actually going to mix the bronzer colors from both three in one palettes to get more of a good shape tomorrow. And I do this as well as a pale skin girl factor. <laughs> Come up with our own concoctions. <laughs> Just bronzer here. 
I'm going to take a smaller eyeshadow brush, mix those same two contour colors together, and I'm going to just I wanted to make her nose look shorter. I don't know how sweet and like that. I'm also going to do a little trick that I learned from JLo's makeup artist. And we're going to come around and we're just going to contour her lips a little bit. I can see it, you look just like her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, she is a local celebrity. Thank you. She's a lot whiter than JLo. Try to make you look a little more pouty and sultry. It does like work. <laughs> hmm? Now, I'm not a trained makeup artist by any means. Um, I learned how to do makeup off of YouTube after my oldest niece um, packed up and moved far, far away to a different country, and there was nobody else to do my makeup anymore. Um, so I sat, and you can ask my husband, I sat and watched YouTube videos for hours and hours and hours and hours and I made him buy me makeup, lots and lots of makeup and I'd sit there and I'd duplicate whatever the makeup artist was doing for hours and then I would wash it off and then I would do it again. So, with some dedication there. Right, so now I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just let it absorb any excess that she may not. Laura, Katie, I'm so sad that your lips do look full of me. I'll try. <laughs> this is why she's the perfect model. <laughs> this is why I pout all the time. It's equal to lips. Huh? Have whatever else you want. Okay, so for Laura, we are going to use some. Um, I've already put, I mixed the bronzers together and went ahead and put that on her eyelid. Now I'm going to use a Morphe palette, um, which is obviously not pharmacy, to do her eyeshadow look. This is what it looks like. Um, this is the 35H palette, if anybody's wondering. Um, they sell it with it. Um, and I have more pharmacy eyeshadows coming in. Um, I don't have a whole lot. Thank 
I've done that whenever I was practicing. Uh, there's two different ways you could go with that look. <laughs> I've always had that problem when you do huge ballots like that. I'm like, which, uh, which neutral brown would I use? I remember she's going out on a date in a big ball dress with a man in a tux and he had the limo. And he's probably going to wear his cowboy boots with her. He's going to take her to some opera and, you know. Is Tyler oh, Cruz going to be there? Mm -hmm. Probably. With that chewing gum that blows that building. Yeah. <laughs> Not Mission Impossible, right? I was thinking Mr. Impossible 5, but it's okay. Well, I mentioned Star Trek. It's going to work. <laughs> Actually, she's probably going to go to like Publix or something after this, and they're going to be like, oh, wow. <laughs> she dressed up nice. Jordan, if somebody wanted to try out pharmacy, what's the one item that they should, that you would recommend for them to start with? Um, I would recommend, a lot of people start off with the Zen Mascara, um, mostly because a lot of people have very sensitive eyes and they just want to see if the mascara is going to work for them. Um, so that's a good one. Um, also, like if you wanted to try more like all over face makeup, I started off with the CC cream um, and that, I mean once I used that once or twice I was pretty much hooked. So, but the lippies are also good um, and they're real simple, not too dedicated. Katie wants to know, is that the extra last eye pencil? That you just used? No, that was um, powder from the palette that I just used. And does a uh, pharmacy have any kind of like acne fighting or like anything like that? Yes, we do. Um, and I ordered some and it's coming in. Um, I ordered actually for mail and I ordered a charcoal mask. 
Um, and then for myself, I ordered the tea tree um, serum and face wash. Um, it's supposed to help with acne, and right now I'm wearing a face mask every day. Like where the mask sits, I've been breaking out, and the tea tree is supposed to help with that. Um, there's a whole line of products, such as serum, a face wash, a mask, um, some other tea tree stuff as well. Um, also, the Calendula line, if you have drier skin and don't want to take extra, excess moisture out of your skin, um, it helps like deep hydration, which also does like healing um, things to the skin. Like mine, I have a dark spot right here, and since I've used it, I've noticed that my dark spot's getting lighter. So it kind of helps to even out your fingers. Mm -hmm. So this is the Express Eye Pencil in blue. I'm going to do the fur waterline. Then I'm going to do a fun trick and we're going to use Zen Mascara to extend your lashes and then I'm also going to put the deep bed on top of that. So I'm going to go in with the Zen on the top. I'm using the shorter, bulkier crystals. Kitty wants to know what was the eyeliner you used on the top? Um, on the top, it was just a dark blue powder out of that Morphe palette. I just used a liner brush and went as close to the lashes as I could get. This child has like ridiculous eyelashes. No curl required. Alright, so that's one coat of the Zen Mascara on the top. <laughs> I let that dry. I'm going to put some brows on her. This is probably a little too dark for her. If you're a very picky eyebrow person, you can do this step before you do your concealer and then, you know, go and see them conceal. Conceal on the other side. I like it. Since that's not exactly her shade, I'm just pulling it fully through there to kind of make it not look so crazy. <laughs> All right, well, you're good this no. You just have all evening gown eyeshadow. Regular <laughs> day. I'm glad you wore blue though. I didn't even tell you wore blue. This is like wear blue. All right, so look up. This is the larger side of the. Zen comb, I'm going to do it on the bottom. Her eyelashes are curly. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to let that hang out. I'm going to throw a lip on her. Maybe. This is the lip liner pencil in 203. I'm gonna do a little bit of a two-toned lip on her. Is Miriam still watching? Is she having a fit that I put on blue eyeshadow on her baby sister? 
Remember, we don't need much lip liner because we gave her J Lo lips already. I have that Kardashian count going on. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is matte liquid lipstick in 201. I believe the name of this is Skin. This is like a really, really pale nude. Like we're kind of going to erase her lips and then bring them back. And what I really like about these lippies is you can take the tip of it right here and get like a real fine weight on it. Katie said that earlier. She started with the Zen My Spirit and the lippies and fell in love with the lippies. Yeah, I don't usually wear lipstick. Um, my husband doesn't like it and it makes my lips dry out. But I love these matte liquid lipsticks. All right, now we're going to take a little bit of Alicia's signature color. This is Brave. And we're going to, we took all the color out of her lips. And now we're just going to dab. Fit mascara on her. I did this the other day for work because I wanted just to test it out, and I got the effects from both mascaras, which was really nice. Like, I got the waterproof effect, but still had the Zen mascara effect as well. So this is Mara's go out on the date look. She's going to put on an evening gown and some high shoes. That's going to take her to the ball. Going to wear my crown and drink my champagne. There you go. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's four different looks using four different foundations. We've gone through CC Cream. We went through B Fit and Tin and Moisturizer. We did our Stay Matte and then this is the the serum foundation, luminous serum foundation. Um, I gave you a fast, everyday fit, need to run in, so you're going to go to the gym afterwards look. I gave you a back to school look. I gave you um, a fast mom need to get out the door look. And then I gave you a princess author fancy time look. So let me know if you have any other questions in the comments. Leave a one if you are watching, watching um, the replay of the live. And thank you so much for hanging out with us today. And thank you to my lovely face models. They're going to go eat cookies now. And um, we're just going to hang out for a little bit. So if you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments and let us know. We will see you guys later. Bye.